Hey guys, Jordan here. In today's video, I'm going to forge a knife out of rebar. Let me start this off by saying rebar is not the best knife steel, since it's a mystery of what scrap steel went into making this particular batch. I'm using this to just practice blacksmithing. I want to learn this craft more and everyone has to start somewhere. My anvil is just a 15 pound sledgehammer that's fixed onto this stump. If you saw the budget blacksmith setup from a previous video, you'll notice I upgraded my forge. Since I'm using wood as a fuel source, this V-shaped forge really helps contain the charcoal and centralize the heat. I haven't upgraded my anvil yet, but that'll happen soon. Here I'm trying to get the rough shape of a knife. I'm not going for fancy, just a point, bevel, and handle. I wish I had thicker stock to work with, but that won't be a problem. This will just be a thin butter knife when I'm done with it. setting in the handle and adding some slight curves for a better grip. Now this is, or was, my hot cut tool, but I've used this so much that it's practically buried into the stump. This hot cut tool was also too narrow to be very useful. Next I should probably make a hand chisel to replace this. Even though I've heat treated rebar before where it actually got hard, I didn't want to waste too much time on this knife. I knew it was more of a practice piece to learn a bit more how to blacksmith and how to shape a forged knife. So hopefully the angle grinder will make this look more knife-like. putting a slight edge to make it easier to cut into the butter. I know I could have made this so much more pretty, but I think this is good enough for my first attempt. And it's just not sharp works without a patina. This was actually the beer patina solution that was left over from a previous video. I think the patina gives this knife a lot better of a look, but it also draws more attention to those hammer marks. And now, I didn't actually have any butter on hand, but here's a nice soft strawberry to show you that it could cut something. This will be a nice reminder to hopefully show me how I progress in the future. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll greatly appreciate any helpful tips or advice you can give me. Alright, that's it guys, I'll see you in the next one.